power of people, this is myself and this is the third part of the tutorial of how to create a multiplayer game in visual basic. So in the last part we are successfully connected to our database. Now we have to store data in our database, okay? For that we have to create a tables, create some tables. The first table we are going to create is users with two fields. The first field will be id and it will be an integer length and auto increment and primary index okay and the second field will be name will be a voucher size will be 30 okay now quick save we have our table now go back to your multiply game and go to the button click events and okay now paste this snippet the real snippet the escrow statement as string equals to insert into users name um, this was my previous tutorial and write text box text name dot text um that means success Okay, now let's test. Successful content. Give it a name. I write my name. Register, successful register. And browse your table and you will see your name. Okay. I need to register with Android name. And if you browse it again, you will see this. So it is good for now. So select check all and remove. Okay. Now we have to add one field at the end of the table. Okay. Click go. And the field will be um, score. Will be an int. Length will be uh, 70. Okay, save. Now go to your insert into and write score and type and. Okay, so write score. Looks good. Sorry, not score. A typo. Write zero. Now run it to see if everything works or not. Let's register and browse and see everything is working okay so 
in this next part we'll make the game the main game okay thanks for watching